Hey everyone, my name's Sam and thanks for joining. Nikola's stock dropped 16% yesterday off the back of some shocking statements from CEO Mark Russell about how the Badger isn't their focus, so let's talk about it. Back on July 2nd, I made a video titled, Do Not Pre-Order the Nikola Badger Yet, which was about just that, why you shouldn't pre-order the Badger until it comes out and you can see exactly what it is. And the other thing is they have all these specs listed, but it's not like, it's not like Nikola has ever built pickups before. So I would be highly skeptical that they'd be able to produce to the specs that they are claiming they're going to. I got a good amount of pushback on that because remember at that point people were still pretty bullish on Nikola. The Hindenburg report hadn't come out and although there were for sure some critical voices of Nikola, it wasn't in the mainstream attention. Also, side note, it's really cringy to go back to your old videos. It may have only been around three months ago, but it still hurts to watch. That being said, I stand by what I said back then, you should not have pre-ordered it. A couple weeks after that, I made another one titled, Why You Still Should Not Pre-Order a Nikola Badger, to try to refute some of the pushback I got on the last video. Nikola's first and main product was a semi-truck, and it was supposed to be available back in 2019, but as of today, not only is it not available, but it hasn't even begun road testing, much less actual broad scale production. It's been several years behind expected availability dates, which makes me incredibly skeptical about the company's ability to actually produce the Badger on time. Right now, they're taking pre orders for a truck in 2020 that won't begin production until 2021, that they're claiming they'll be able to deliver by 2022. But given the company's track record, I would think it might be a few years later than that, but we'll find out. And again, I got a good amount of pushback. It seemed like people just didn't get it. Why are you pre-ordering a product that hasn't ever been seen, only has concept photos from a company that has never made a product? I mean, I get the idea of a Kickstarter, but when the company is entirely unproven and is doing something as ambitious as starting an automotive company with relatively unproven technology, with the unproven technology, I don't think there's a single other hydrogen pickup truck out there in the world, or at least not one that I've seen. So fast forward to a couple days ago, I hear Mark Russell, the CEO of Nikola Motors, is saying that the Badger was an interesting and exciting project to some shareholders, but our institutional shareholders are mostly focused on the business plan. Well, 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 if it wasn't what I was saying back in July. The Badger isn't a high priority, and this proves it. That's something I think everyone has known for a while now, but Nikola hadn't admitted it. What's funny is seeing what Russell was saying back in February about the Badger where he called it a game changer and that it would help drive down the cost of the fuel cell components on our semi truck while accelerating the hydrogen station rollout. Back when they thought they could get a partner to build it, that was a perfectly logical thing to say. But now that it's looking less likely, the tune has changed. Russell is now saying, our core business plan since before we became publicly listed always focused on heavy trucks and hydrogen infrastructure. Quite the change of tune there. It's no longer a game changer, is it? So what does this tell us? Well, I think it gives us a really good look into the ongoing negotiations between GM and Nikola. As we know, GM has pushed back their closing date for the partnership from September 30th to December 3rd. And I don't see any reason as to why they can't push it back again. Because as we all know, December 3rd is one of the dates that a significant amount of Nikola shares become unlocked and are available to be sold. This date is critically important, especially considering the current deal involves GM taking a large amount of Nikola stock as part of it. I can see this going two ways. Either one, they partner with GM, but GM takes a much higher stake in the company and sweetens up the pot with some other goodies. GM has felt the fire now and they're going to need something more than the old deal. Even though, let's be real here, their old deal was one-sided and all for GM, but that's because GM has a lot to offer and Nikola frankly doesn't. One issue GM is having is that when they took the $2 billion stake in Nikola via stock, well, since then the stock price has dropped about in half. That made their stake drop to around $1 billion. But they had arranged that deal before the Hindenburg report. And maybe, just maybe, GM now knows more about Nikola than back then. I'm not saying they didn't know everything about Nikola before the Hindenburg report, but I will say I am very skeptical about GM's 
due diligence when it comes to investigating Nikola's fraudulent activities. Also, either way, even if GM did know everything about Nikola before they announced their possible partnership, maybe they thought to themselves, if Nikola has gotten away for this long, maybe they can just keep getting away with it forever. Because let's be real here, a lot of things can happen, but if it isn't brought to the attention of the public, then as far as most people are concerned, it didn't happen. Which is horrible and a big part as to why I'm actually making YouTube videos now. I'm not saying that's what happened, I'm just thinking out loud here. As I've talked before, and I'm not accusing, but I think it's highly unlikely that GM didn't notice Nikola's deceptive business practices such as the Nikola One In Motion video. It seems more likely that they saw what Nikola was doing and they were okay with it because they thought it was contained, and if people didn't find out about it, then it'd be all fine. Because let's be real here, if I can find so much fraudulent activity that Nikola is participating in just by researching and Googling as an outsider, GM with internal information and access to company files and they can interview employees and all that, they can find so, so much more. And after doing research into GM's practices over the last century or so, I'm not entirely convinced they're as moral as they claim to be. By the way, if you want an interesting story where GM was convicted of monopolizing, check out the trolley system monopoly, where GM basically bought out the popular trolley systems in cities across America in the 1940s, and then dismantled them, forcing people to buy cars instead of taking the once popular and cheaper public transportation. To be perfectly honest, it's not super relevant to today, but it's a really interesting story. Anyways, the other outcome is that GM drops the partnership and Nikola is left high and dry. This seems pretty likely as it looks like Russell is trying to temper the expectations of investors. The way I read his quotes is that he wants to make sure people know they don't need GM. And why would he say that? It's because he thinks there's a good chance the partnership falls through and he's trying to set people's expectations accordingly. Again, just my opinion. Mark Russell said this, we have the ability and have a base plan of doing it ourselves. If we have a partner, that just enables us to consider going faster and helps reduce risk. Look, I'll just say this, how? If Nikola doesn't partner with someone, how do they expect to build the Badger? To build the truck, you need a factory. They are building a factory in Coolidge, Arizona at a snail pace, but still, they are building a factory. But they're planning that factory to build their semi trucks. So are they going to add something onto the factory that would allow them to produce the Badger? Will they cut production of the semi to make room for the Badger? I highly doubt that because the, as I said earlier, the Badger is secondary priority to the semi, but maybe. My question is this, if you're saying you have the ability to build the Badger without a partner, I just wanna know how. Are you building a new factory? Are you adding onto your factory currently under construction? How exactly are you going to do it? Let's get specific. But to be fair, this is all secondary because a huge problem they have right now is cash. They just don't have enough for what they're trying to do. And one way they were able to get things done without as much cash is by partnering with other companies. But if these partnerships fall through, then all of a sudden Nikola has to foot the entire bill themselves and they don't have close to enough money to do that. Back in July of this year, they had set the delivery date for the Badger for 2022. And I just don't see any way possible that they will actually meet that deadline without GM. This actually concludes pretty nicely into what I said a few months ago. You should still not pre-order a Nikola Badger. That's gonna do it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and thank you for watching. Ooh.